In this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of a vertical shear link in the Abacus software. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied uh, to the top of the vertical shear link, and following that, its hysteresis diagram uh, will be drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with experimental results. In these pictures, the deformation of the model in the Abacus software can be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental Study of Cyclic Behavior of composite vertical shear link in eccentrically braced frames. Click on Tools menu, then Datum. Here, select Offset from point, select this point, and make a point within a distance of 100 mm from the plate. In the next step, I'll click on Tools menu, select Reference point, and select this point. Then I'll click on Create Constraint. Here, select Coupling and Continue. First, I'll select this reference point, Done. Then click on Surface, select the top plate, Done. And here, select the top surface that is brown. In this manner, the top plate was connected to this reference point. Then I'll click on Mesh Part and Yes. Then I'll click on Assign Mesh Control. Select the top and bottom plates. Done. Here, select Medial Axis and OK. I'll click on Mesh Part and Yes.
In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the vertical shear link. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, select Reaction Force directed at Y and Displacement directed at Y, and click on Save As. In the next step, I will click on Create XY Data, then on Operate on XY Data, and continue. After that, I'll select Combine. First, select U2, then RF2, and click on Save As. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram drawn, uh, drawn in the Abacus software. I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is newton. Here, the diagram having been drawn with red color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software.